Okay, all right, here we are. Next level. Here we go. And hot pickle. Whew, I'll use my harpoon gun for the first time here. Do some undersea combat. I think there's another harpoon on the ground. That's, yeah. Okay, fucking. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Woo! Grab these harpoons here. Uh. Yeah, Daryl, it, it does look like pretty good. <laughs> what's a, what's pretty good? I said it looks like it's gonna be the new Kojima game. Oh. Okay, so there's this Louis <clears throat> C.K. interview, and he's talking about how his daughter like to tell him jokes. Yeah. But his one daughter tells really good jokes, and they're not like she doesn't steal people's jokes. They're just totally original. And his daughter says, who told the gorilla that he couldn't go to the ballet? Ow. Who? Who? Just the people who were in charge of that decision. I, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I love that joke. I see. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on out, buddies. Uh, da 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 da. All right, da da. Oh, I'll grab all this goody. So, if you haven't noticed, the ship is upside down. I just landed out of what was the pool room. There's the diving board on the now ceiling, which was the floor previously. <laughs> uh. All right. I'm bad drivers of Tennessee. I always wondered how that ship is not 100% dark with it being 240 feet in the ocean. I know. That's what four, Yeah, that's what 40 fathoms is. Yeah, Daryl. Last of Us is really good. We uh, we're gonna do the PS4 remaster pretty soon. Uh, yeah. Coming up. And I am definitely looking forward to Last of Us too. That's gonna be sweet. Yeah, I forgot that's coming out. Oh. It's too bad it's not this year. I don't think though. No, I think it's next year. Get up there. You gotta get me my secret. <laughs> All right, and there should be a guy. Ooh, I like the sound they make when they die. Like, ooh, like they sound like he's choking on something. Right. Oh, penis? Like he's got, oh, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't put that beyond the possibility. Uh, yes, yes, Ken. Uh, I think Barcane Monastery is the longest level in the whole game. It's also one of my favorite levels, too. Oh, hi, buddy. Seriously, what kind of roids are these guys shooting? Though? They're all fucking jacked. I understand. Like, uh, anywho, I say my favorite levels from these games are uh, Venice. Daryl's happy that they revived Resident Evil with Seven. Yeah, Daryl, we were supposed to be playing that. Yeah. But Mike forgot the fucking game. But so. you can go ahead and check out the episodes that are already on the channel. Yeah, <laughs> they're really funny. Do you have some of them on the channel? Yeah, dude, I have like the first four. This is going to date the episode, but first four episodes are up there. With the video in them, too? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, yeah, I yeah with, the fa with, with what we call a face cam. That's the only series that we actually have cameras of us, because we're playing in VR. No. Well, not you, Mo, because you were a chicken and didn't want to play the VR. I didn't want to. I can't wait till the episode where you scream like a little fucking girl. Yes. <laughs> I think that's coming up soon. <laughs> Scary. I get there's a lot of jump scares in that game. Yeah. Yes. Uh, bad driver from Tennessee. Uh, the Maria Doria is actually based off of the uh, Italian cruise liner Maria Doria that sank in the fifties. It it took like I think twenty hours to sink. It slid into the waters like an old man into a bathtub. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a sign You're film. terrible. It's a sign film quote. You're, you're just the worst. Yeah. I know. I'm bad. No, I'm bad. I'm bad. But da 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 da. But the kid. Daryl said he'd rather watch this than the VR version of Seven. He liked the original one better. Oh, really? I, I fucking. I think if that's. I think that they did a good job with that game and for VR purposes. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm glad that we have I, you die over there. I'm starting yeah. to die too. I'm starting to don't coughing. die. I'm uh, I'm excited for new. Uh, Live. Well, actually, I think the next VR game I want to play for the VSPR is uh, the game called Farpoint. 
fart point? No, not fart point. <laughs> fart point. <laughs> Fart point. Virtual reality farting. It's like where you're like, yeah. the, it's like where you're right in between the ass cheeks. Yeah, like that. The fart point. The, the fart point. The fart point. Bad drivers of Tennessee only like Resident Evil Four. I like that one too. I should probably. Four was should, really good. We should play four. That was a good one. Mike, are you stupid? No. Why would you? Why? why? We need to stop trying to undertake why? so many projects at once. I mean, I know. Once we get, uh, what I'm saying is like when other projects are finished. Is what I mean. Hey, we should start all of these things we mentioned today right now. Right now? That's the problem, though, is we do start a bunch of shit, and then we're like, uh, what do we do? Yeah, kind of like Dark Souls that you're failing on me now. I didn't even want to play it to begin with. Oh, man. You're the one that did, and then I, I was like, okay, fine, we'll play it. Oh, and then yeah. you played it for like five minutes, and you were like... This is really hard. I mean, I wanted to keep I, I, at it. I told you about it for two months. I only want, I want to keep at it. We're going. We're going back to that game eventually. We might as well just fucking start it over. We can start like, it over. Like, we're, we're, we're ten minutes into the game, and it took us, like, two hours to get We there. can start it over. Why would you start over? But we're, our character... Motorboating ass. Now, that's kind of gnarly. We can start over, but we're still calling our dude Mr. Spudsworth. <laughs> just, Spudsworth. just saying. We're keeping the name. All right, you need to stop, buddy. Fuck off. Whoop ass says uh, Alien Isolation's better in VR than Resident Evil Seven. Well, here's the thing: it's scarier. I want to do uh, Alien Isolation. I already told with uh, Kevin and Angela, but the thing is, the VR version you have to use the Oculus Rift. It's not PlayStation VR. Hmm. Although they said the new Alien game's going to be compatible with. The PlayStation VR, which I am excited for, uh, that's based off of like Alien Covenant, which I want to see still, which I'm actually going to see Wednesday. Yippee skippy! I'm so happy for you. Lucky I, might, for I you. think I might wet myself. Oh my god, are you really? I already oh, did. thank you guys. You mean you mean so much to me. Uh, First person mode on seven was cool, but the character isn't as iconic as the other characters. That's a problem with the game. Yeah, this is Could a totally new. Head cut scenes to show his face. Well, there it was like that one when you were uh, when when we were Mia and we kind of see his back. We found out that he's a blonde. You're a blonde. Yeah, we when he's like all frozen in the yeah right in the tar in the tar. I don't. I think it's mold. First of all, in that that, that mold tar. In that, Niker. In that moldy shit, you know. <laughs> Girl's got a serious mold problem. Ow. Res Dubs says best game ever. Which, what, Resident Evil 7 or this? I'm not sure. Either way, I agree. <laughs> I will, I will, uh, I will second that. Oh, god damn it, that's so dark. I gotta light a flare, I gotta find the, oh my god. gotta find the keyhole where I put in the bathroom key, because you need a key for the bathroom here, apparently. Well, Bass says Covenant was good, but it was still more like Prometheus than the first two Alien movies. That's okay, I like Prometheus. I figured it was going to uh, be Rez more. says Tomb Raider 2. Okay. Definitely I agree to. then. This is the best game ever. This is, the, this is my favorite of the whole series. Probably favorite. Were you just using pistols? Yeah, they're called automatic pistols. I wasn't <laughs> cheating. <laughs> was not cheating. I got this. Are you like... Oh, okay. From my peripheral, it looked like Hacker was rubbing into your tit, not mm -hmm. you. Just like, running, he was just, he was just straight... Just my tit while you're right there. He was just, like, straight up groping you. I grab my tit? <laughs> not, not live on the couch at all. It's okay, there's no camera up. Yet. Yet. Barrel. Barrel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag snort. <laughs> Sexy, right? Am I the only one that doesn't snort when I laugh on the couch? Well, you will if you spend enough time with me. Oh, yeah, that's that like case? I didn't used to. <laughs> now he does. And now I do. He snort. Like, is that I'm it? Like inherited. Is it just contagious? Yeah. I think so. It's like yawning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go snort. <laughs> Bad drivers of Tennessee says this is his. Well, see, I think you asked. This is this is that particular car's favorite game of all time. Any, anyway, it, it, I think if you ask any like Tomb Raider fan what their favorite game was out of the entire series, they're probably gonna say this one. Um, I like the first Tomb Raider just just because. Who's not a big Tomb Raider guy? Huh? The first Tomb Raider was unique in and of itself. I think what this game is so great for is because it kind of like blew all the other expectations out of the water that was with the first one. 
I think the problem was, though, that this game was the best and the worst thing for the series because it set such a huge standard. And it kind of set, like, a precedent for, like, what the other Tomb Raider games were going to be like because this was the first game that really introduced uh, Laura, like, killing people, like, human beings. I don't know who Laura is. Laura, whatever. Oh, my God. There's no you in it. Ugh. I'm just gonna say Laura now. Jesus. I'm just gonna say Laura out of spite. Yeah, you always do say it. It's nothing new. I'm gonna keep doing it now. Fuck it. Because it, 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 Laura Croft. Shut the fuck cool. up, Mike. <laughs> She checked your fucking phrase. I was gonna say, like, this game's so good, but, like, people... I think the developers were, like, brought into a false sense of security because when they made Tomb Raider 3, I think they tried to make a... Oh, are you fucking get pulling the Z's on me yeah, when I'm trying to explain my Enormous. favorite series? Oh, you son of a bitch. Go ahead. You're being I'm, an I'm, asshole. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, the thing was, like... When they made Tomb Raider three, I think they like they they tried to, because I think this game was like lightning in a bottle. Um, they tried to mimic the success of it in the third game, and it didn't really hold up well. I think Tomb Raider three is not my least favorite. It's not. I don't really hold it into such a high regard as I used to. I also agree that's probably one of the hardest of the earlier games. Danny says you should watch this video, Resident Evil 7 Boundary Break. <clears throat> oh, Res, uh, Res Dubs also did Resident Evil 7? Alright, I'll check it out. It's actually, uh, I don't know if I said this what, before. What are you talking about? No. Danny said you should watch this video, Resident Evil 7 Boundary Break. Oh, shit. Oh, like, none of what I said is what you repeated. Uh, Literally none of, none of it. Whoopsie. I need, <laughs> I need like, a Kirby Enthusiasm theme going on right now. <laughs> Uh, Daryl wants to know what our favorite Resident Evils are. Me? I would have to say Resident Evil 2 and 4 are my all-time favorites. Um, I'd have to go with 4. It's the first one I played. Really? You yep. never played like the first one? Like the- no, I played. It was the first one that I played. Oh, uh, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, I just I like to come the story and everything, and four because they changed the whole game dynamic of it. So yeah, it was cool. Uh, I remember playing. I don't know if I, I probably said this before. I remember the first time I played Resident Evil was the first time I played this game. I was seven. And uh, when they got to the first cutscene where they showed the first zombie, I, I turned off the game like, fuck this, I'm not playing this. Mm. And looking back at that now, I'm like, wow, I was scared of that. That's funny. You wiener. You wiener. Actually, I guess technically I could say my favorite Resident Evil is uh, Devil May Cry. But that's like from the makers of Resident Evil. No, it was originally supposed to be a Resident Evil game, and then they were like, it's nothing like Resident Evil. Are you serious? Be- yes, Devil it's- May Cry 1 was supposed to be a Resident Evil game. Oh, okay. And then they thought it was just too weird. But no, but no, it, it'd be Resident Evil 4. I just wanted to throw that little tidbit in there for you. Oh, okay. Also because you're a weenie from Bell. Greenie's a weenie. Oh, I'm a weenie. Don't greenie, fucking don't fucking weenie. do the greeny weenie. Uh Weenie Greeny. Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> you asshole. Greenie got a little weenie. I don't have a little weenie. You wanna see it? Yeah. I t- keep your dick in your pants <laughs> so you're not allowed over here anymore. Okay. <laughs> what if he has to up? pee? Oh, yeah, the rusty key. Well, that's different. <laughs> that's totally different. Not even in the same Mike ball. fucking whips his dick out on the game couch. Then one, he ain't a lot over here anymore. And two, I'm quitting the game couch. <laughs> yes. uh, what if it's a nice dick? I don't care! Is any dick nice? No. That's what I was about to say. All dicks are kind of like, eh... Not my, not my cup of tea. What? What's not your cup of tea? Penises. Well, I'm thinking. Res Dub says I just like twos. Silent Hill two, Rush Hour two. <laughs> Rush Hour two was funny, funny. I like. Especially, especially when the main boss died in the bloopers, and Chris Tucker's like, "Damn, 
He ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. <laughs> <laughs> and then they did make it Rush Hour 3, like, that took place, like, eight years later. <laughs> and you can see, like, there's... Chris, Chris Tucker has significantly aged, and he's fat now. <laughs> yeah, he, he really is. Yeah. Is it, like... Don't you think that Chris Tucker is a bit of, like, the store brand Chris Rock? Yeah. Just a little bit. No offense it's, to Chris Tucker. It's not Tucker. even a little bit. It, it's no offense to, to, to Chris Tucker, but... That's just true. It's kind of like, hey, do you remember in The Mighty Ducks, who was uh, Bomb Coach Bombay? Who was the actor? Larry. No, it wasn't Larry. Shut up. <laughs> Don't don't fucking give me your shit about Larry. But regardless, he kind of looked like an old Michael J. Fox. Who did? The, I forget the guy's name, but he was Coach Bombay in the Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. Ducks. Let me look for you. You look for me? Look. All right, cool. Thanks. Emilio uh, Estevez. Emilio. <laughs> That's right, it is. Um, I know, I'm looking at the, the whole The whole chat room is going through this conversation of when, you know, girl characters first started becoming playable, how it was, like, you know, different. Like, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Like, how, like, you know, if you liked Tomb Raider, it was like, oh, you like playing a game where you're a girl, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, <laughs> Tomb Raider became his big hit. Who said that? Who said that those somebody, things? Somebody in there was talking No, about people really said that when <laughs> Tomb Raider came out. Oh, you were playing I mean, as a she girl. was. she was one of the first... I wouldn't say she was the first hit, but she was certainly one of the first. I would have to give that credit to Samus, because... Ha ha, you yeah. played as a girl. Yeah. Oh, like, you're playing as a girl. I don't mind. Dude, when I played Resident Evil, I'd always play as Jill and not Chris. Ha uh ha, -huh, like, you're a girl. <laughs> okay. I, I, I mean, played, I, I, I am Michelle online. I always played as Chris just because I like Chris better than Jill. I don't, like, I, I don't hate Jill, but she sexist. didn't really do anything. Oh, yeah, is it sexist now? If you no, don't play he's the, sexist. Oh, hacker sexist? Yeah. Yeah, sexist, sexist. Whatever that is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> sexist from Texas? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello, sweet dang. That's the kitty Melanie's talking about. Her pussy. Yeah. I was talking about my sweet pussy. I. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Gross, man. Alright. Gotta do a little trick here. Oh. Uh, 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 Stop. Uh, gotta wait for the trap door to fall. Alright, there we go. Red a weirdo, isn't he a weirdo, <laughs> Nea? Oh, Dino Crisis. I never played Dino oh, Crisis. Oh, I love Di that's Dino something. Man. That's something I want to game couch is Dino Crisis. I love that game. I never played the second one, though, but I did enjoy the first one. Uh, Rez says that you're sexist for not playing as Chris Melody. I, don't, I didn't play as anybody. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's, she's never played, played him. <laughs> so she hates all genders equally, I guess. I would totally play a game as a dude, though. <laughs> as a dude? I like dudes. I'm um, a dude. Especially a dude. hot dudes. She's a dude. We're, We're all dudes. dudes. Yeah, I don't care if it's a male or a female. I'll just pick the hottest one. Okay. Whoever's hotter. Oh, God, God damn I'm it. not I'm sexist, stuck. I'm just shallow. I'm stuck. Don't fucking glitch out of... God, God damn it. Okay. Fucking... Close your tits. <laughs> fucking hate getting glitched there. It's a thing that happens. First old-time classic game playing as a girl, Gale of the Jungle. You're tickling my toes. Gale of the Jungle? You're tickling my toes. I don't remember You're that. tickling my toes. Who's tickling your toe? What are you talking about? David was tickling my toes. Oh. Move your mic close. Don't tap the mic. First of all, move it closer and quit tapping. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tap the mic. First of all. They can hear me fine. Uh, what? I'm don't, tapping the mic. Don't. No. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Snorting again. You fucking job. idiot. <laughs> the hell's your problem? There. You happy? It's a little closer now. Very. Very happy. I am s ecstatic. Oh, you're such a precious kitty. Alright, don't fucking fill your cat's ego up, alright? She's beautiful. Sometimes you gotta bring the cat down, like, you know what, you can do better, kitty. 
Let's get some more cuteness and cuddle time in. All right. No, I call her an asshole every day. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, sometimes she makes me laugh and I say, fuck you, you whore. I called the cat a whore? I called her a hooker once. Oh my God. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? She's my best friend. Yeah, all right. I guess. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Except for when she's being a hooker. Yeah. She's just out in the corner, you know, fucking scorn for sex. Is this the one where if someone tries the topless cheat, she blows up? Oh, yeah. This is the one. Do it. Do you know it? Yeah, I know it. Hang on. Do it. Let me grab. Let me uh, first Why grab these. Like, save I'm going to save it. I'm going to grab you these. got to do it. I'm going to grab these items and then I guess you didn't have an item. Here, I'll save it. I think I remember all these cheats by heart. I know the all weapons, the level skip. All right, hang on. I gotta get. I just gotta get my. I, unlock that center of your brain. Yeah, hang on. All right, here. Uh. Left. Oh wait. Left. Right. Left. Forwards. Backwards. Turn around three times. One. Two. Three. <laughs> That's so stupid. Like, why? <laughs> there we go. Just for you guys. Just for you guys. Mason's been playing Turok. Oh, I love Turok. Uh, my friend in grade school had that game. We always play multiplayer in Turok. Oh, I think it was Turok 2. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Well, it was for the N64. I remember that. Danny said sweet. <laughs> there, I blew Laura up. It's the most useful. Laura, I blew You know, when you said the turn around three times, all I could think of was... T double th take three times. One, two, three. Bring it around. She also said down. thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh, did I press that button? Shit, I gotta press that button. Do it again. You want me to blow up again? <laughs> you really want me to blow up again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll blow up again. Stop. Oh, no. oh, here, I'll blow up again. Here, here, you gotta go. Left, right, left, forwards, backwards. You gotta turn around three times here. That's three. One. Don't forget it. Two. Three. And pelvic thrust! <laughs> it looks like like if you see like a bird and it like flies into the air and gets like hit by a car and then oh it gets my feathers. God. Or it gets caught in a plane engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I don't understand though? What? Looking back at it. Um why would she why exactly would she all of a sudden be topless when you're jumping through the air? Well the whole the whole uh new cheat is like a is an urban myth. There's no nude codes to make her play. Yeah, I know, and they, they put that in there as a joke. In yeah. She tried it. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck you, you idiot. <laughs> Which is really funny, but. <laughs> it's stupid. Uh, doing the cheat codes, though, in Tomb Raider 3 is, like, ridiculous, though, because you gotta, like, tap down this button combination, like, L2, 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 1, 2, L2, L2, R2. What's a 1, 2? I'm uh, sorry, R2, R1, R2, L2, L2, L2. L1, R2, like, you have to, like, tap it all, like, really fast, and there's, like, 20 buttons you gotta memorize. It's, like, ridiculous. <laughs> Bless you very much. Oh, me old self. All right, how many circuit breakers do I got, too? I gotta get the last one. All right, let's gotta go this way. Did I say the ship is upside down? Yes, I did. You're so silly. Uh, the ship is upside down. <laughs> Your shit. So I'm, I'm thinking out. maybe two or three more sessions I'll have this game beat. Like, Jesus, man, oh. you are like a sneeze machine. Mm -hmm. This is a daily life with us. He just sneezes all the damn day. Just sneezes. Maybe she's. Maybe maybe she's. Maybe he's allergic to you. He must be because I thought it was the cat, but he was sneezing even when we went to rock on the range. Maybe he's just allergic just to you, bad. or maybe he's just allergic to bullshit. Either way, I'm still allergic to you. He's allergic. You stop scratching your ass in front of me. It's not, not very dainty of you, first of all. I never said I was dainty, first of all. Oh, oh well, you know what? You need to fucking. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you need to fuck off. Right. Uh, Hacker's okay, guys. He just needed. with that shit, man. He needed to blow his nosy. His nosey. Nosey is nosey. That's dark as shit. There you go, guys. Sorry. 
Oh, what the heck? Uh, hey, hey uh, it seems like you got a runny nose there. <laughs> oh my god, he's just, whoa. Mm -hmm. It's literally every fucking day, too. Uh, oh, whoa, where the fuck did you come from? I forgot about you. Like, figure Oh my god. Something out. Man. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, I guess he's large. Whoa. Fucking assholes. All right. Whew, that was scary. Oh, scary. Don't fucking yawn on me. Your face is scary. Is my face really scary? No. Okay. I didn't think so. All right. I gotta go back. Maybe if like you pulled your eyeballs out, then it would be scary. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I won't lie. Kinda... Or like when people turn their eyelids inside out, you. I can do that. No, no, no. Your face would be scary. Then my face would be scary if I did that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, or I feel like you could probably make a really creepy smile. Like a clown. How does a clown smile that... Uh, first of all, I, I know I don't like clowns and everything, but how does a clown smile that is creepy? I think a clown... When a clown smiles in general, that's just creepy as hell. Yeah. Maybe like a crazy serial killer smile. How does that one go? I don't know. I can't do it. My it, face isn't scary. Your face is always scary, though. I just don't tell you. Oh. It's like... I'm afraid sometimes I get, I'll get turned into stone. Yeah, you like that little Medusa reference I pulled in there? <laughs> why, am I, why am I Medusa? I don't know. Did you ever see um, Clash of the Titans? No. And the Medusa character in that movie is fucking ridiculous. That was one of the last movies where they did stop motion animation. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Not the remake, though. The remake was like pure shit. That's often the case. Yeah, I know. Did we talk about how many times, like, uh, like, they need to stop making so many remake movies? Yes, that's all they do nowadays. It's like they can't come up with their own ideas. They literally just make remakes, reboots, and superhero movies. Right. That's it. I know. I know. Right. And sequels. What is the best weapon for this situation? Shotgun, I've got three rounds. I can make this hit. I can make this work. Alright. I'm gonna start off with the shotgun. We're gonna blaze through these guys. Okay, drop back in the water. Oh, bust out the Uzis. Right. Even Pixar is just only making like sequels and shit now. Are they? I feel like if they're doing Cars three. It's... You know, what? I've never seen a single fucking Cars movie. Oh, I like the Cars movie. Never seen what? Uh, Cars. Any of the Cars? Not Cars the band. <laughs> no. Cars the movie. I've never. I never saw the Cars either. Yeah, the first one was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Most people didn't like the second one. Did they make like kind of like a spinoff, but it was like with airplanes? Planes. Yeah, it was called Planes. <laughs> Never saw it. <laughs> uh, what's going on in the ch 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 chat? Co -co 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 combo breaker. Parasite Eve was supposed to be a Final Fantasy game. I remember that game. I remember I there was. Know that. I remember there. I was seeing the previews for that game back in like 1998. I never played it though, but it looked kind of. Danny says we should add GTA to our list of games to play. Like, like the old version, or like the newest one that came out. Yeah, I mean, I've got all of them. So. I mean, I'd, I'd be, a, I'd be down like doing like GTA Three, Vice City, San Andreas. <sighs> I think San Andreas is my favorite one out of those three. Yeah, it was the most. Well, not the most complete. Three was three was a masterpiece just because there was nothing like it when it yeah, came out. Yeah, yeah, it was totally new. Then Vice City was really good until you figured out it was just Scarface. Pretty much. Well, San Andreas is pretty much Boys in the Hood. Yeah, that's true. Wait, which one did I see? San Andreas? Vice City. Oh, Vice City? Mm -hmm. I picked that one. I think. I thought it was San Andreas. Maybe I was saying, were you a black guy or a white guy? Black guy. Oh, that was San Andreas. I knew it. I knew it. You always lying to me. <laughs> you see me lying. <laughs> I'll take two number nines. <laughs> number nine launch. Why am I so itchy? I don't know. You got your fiending? GTA 5 was yeah. in. I wasn't feeling the three character switch after I beat it. 
and I think the graphics were boring. What? I don't know, Daryl. I loved five. I thought five was really cool. I thought five was better than four, at least. It was. And it, it just it felt a little different. Like they, they tried something new. Right. But, uh, that was a ten dive right there. God. <laughs> Perfect finish. I never played the Scarface game. They made a Scarface yes. game. I did play the first Mafia game. Really? Pretty much oh. GTA in like 1930s. Oh, okay. Wasn't there like another game that came out? I think it was Mafia, but it takes place like it takes place in New Orleans. Or was that... There's there's three Mafia games. The New Mafia Three might have been the one in New Orleans. Actually. Okay. Because I remember a coworker of mine saying that he really enjoyed that game. Danny says the old ones. I mean, but how old, Danny? Because I've got GTA 1 and 2. Oh, those. Oof. I would and say... the GTA London uh, expansion, uh, too. I would the say... The London one was sweet. I would say, let's just start with 3. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop hitting me, you fucking asshole. Oh, this is definitely not a badass game's perfect run here, but whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So many games, so many people want us to play with so little time. Right. I mean, I understand the enthusiasm. I want to get as many of them I can, but that's those are definitely games down along the road. All right. I'm in the captain's. I'm in the bridge, the bridge of the ship. There's the steering wheel on the top there. I gotta figure out how Yeah, GTA that. was groundbreaking. That's for sure. I'll break your ground. Even then, it will. Even then, if you were, didn't want to do the missions, you could still just like fuck around in the game. Which I remember cool. the first GTA. Hold on, because I'm pretty sure I have it here. Okay, Hacker is checking his shelf. There's a uh, fun little fact about it. What's the fun little fact? It had a parental advisory on it. Oh my god, it did. Like well, like well, like, they like, a fucking, like a like an NWA album. Yeah. <laughs> and they... it was only the first one because you get to the London one and GTA Two. Nothing. Nothing. They still have the mature audience on it though. Uh, yeah. mature for London, and uh, GTA Two was only rated teen. Really? Yeah. What? Yep. Well then. Interesting. Back when kill sprees were actually part of the game to try to get your fucking money on oh, to, I didn't be, fucking to beat a fucking story, level. Yeah. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Gotta backtrack now. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Danny says one, two, three, and whatever you got. Danny, I have all of them, so yeah. I'm gonna take say, some time. Definitely down for playing those. Even just to fuck around I'm with them. My lap. Oh, that's what we'd have to do. Just punch in all the cheat codes and you go on killing sprees. Yeah. Like, that's it. I don't remember the weapon co the weapon sheets. To like Joe and I would always just boot up the fifth one and go try to steal the fucking the Harriers and shit from uh, the airbase. Well, I remember we. Did, I, I think I was. I was playing with you that one time when we did it. I showed you guys like a shortcut where you could like jump over a ramp with a car into the base. Not a toy. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. They go on my face. Is your kitty play with your glasses? Yeah, she likes to rub her face on my face and sometimes she knocks <laughs> she them off. She likes to rub her face on my face. She does. Sometimes she knocks my glasses <clears throat> off, though, and then she tries to play with them. What you need? What you need? Well, then. Uh -huh. They go on my face. All right, got to push this. Get this. Wait, oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Hacker's gonna get me. <laughs> He's got me sneezing now. God damn it! It's contagion. Woo wee! All right, now I gotta head back over here. Oh shit! Oh damn it! Oh dicks! All right. Do, 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 do. I love the kitty, the kitty loves me. <laughs> it kind of sounded like, the band-aid, the band-aid stick on me. <laughs> Remember that? Remember I that? Remember the kitty, the kitty <laughs> loves me. 
Remember that throwback? Yes. I didn't mean to do it. What the hell are you watching, hacker? I'm just scrolling through Facebook and it's just playing random videos. Oh, I see. Oh, God. Oh, God, that shark took a bite out of me. <laughs> Ken says, I think the cheat has something to do with steps left, right, and then turn around three times and do a jump backside flip. Right. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Wolf Ants just took me back with that comment. What? He said he had a game shark, so you know he'd have all the weapons right off the bat in Resident Evil, or did you ever play Siphon Filter? Mm, sounds familiar. Siphon Filter was awesome. Uh, yeah. That was awesome. Hmm. Alright, I gotta get myself the last secret of this level, get my grenade launcher back. Uh, oh, God, where is it? Where is it? No, 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 no. It's over here. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Hey, Mike, do you know that song by Kesha that's called Dinosaur? D I N O S O U R Dinosaur. Almost died there. Shit. Alright, get me that. Go, dragon. You are an old man. Man, hitting on me. What? You need a cat skin. <laughs> what the fuck? Little glitch there. Fucking hate you. Oh, Me? come on. It's Why a good, did you get him started? It's again? a good, catchy song. It's so funny. What are you? Why, why does it bug you? It's so stupid. You know what? You're stupid. You're stupid. You're a stupid. You're stupid. You're a stupid. <laughs> you like that? You're a stupid. You're funny. Oh, God. You're funny. Come on, kid. Kitty likes the song. Uh, gotta kill all these fishies. I like how I swim faster than the fish. <laughs> how is that even possible? You must be a really good swimmer. I guess so. Oh, God. I'm gonna drown again. Am I out of flares? Okay, good. I'm I also want my phone though. Get up there. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Give myself a minute. And then get back in the game. Oh, that's a big ass shark. Uh big ass shark. Big ass shark. Big ass shark. Big ass shark. I can do this. I can kill these fishies. Daryl said, come on, GTA 5 story could add more cheats than it did. But I mean, I know GTA's, like, it's all about you can punch in cheats, but I kind of, I don't know. Didn't really care, like. Kind of gotten to the point where I feel like I'm good enough at GTA that I don't need cheats anymore. Like, oh, is that it? I, I'm just saying. I'm so good. I'm that good, he says. All right. Woo! Huh. I killed all the fish. I did it. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Everybody's just Not on, all. on the phone. I can give two shits. All right. Well, next time on the game couch, I, can I, give one shit. I hope you give more shits. God. Hey, I need to use the bathroom. Oh, I think after this next one, we should probably... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Definitely, I'm tired.